Okay, so... Okay, so it's been a while since I've done any organ memes or anything. And by a long time, I mean almost a year. Um, so I thought I'd get right back at it and uh, provide some more entertaining memes because, I mean, you know, you can't just practice all day. You have to have some life. So um, I put out a post on YouTube um, asking for organ memes, a little like Dropbox link, yada, yada, yada. And it'd be like, right, send me the memes. I want to review them, share them out there. It'll look fun. It'll be fun. Great. No one responded. Luckily, there was one guy who actually did step up to the plate, my man Jake. Um, so go follow him on Instagram and stuff. I'll link his stuff down below. So he actually provided all the memes for today. So shout out to him. And uh, as a result, y'all get to um, laugh today. Maybe, hopefully. I, I, I hope, hopefully you at least had a mild chuckle. I mean, come on, we can't, we're not that lifeless. Anyway, uh, meme numero uno, or I guess, I well, I've been taking French, so uh, numero ah. All right, pianist, organist, you simply have less value. Oh gosh, we're starting off with a little bit of shade today now, aren't we? Um, I mean, I, I am taking piano lessons, so I really do like the piano, I, you know, um, I like what I play on the piano, you know, some like Debussy and Brahms and some, some good stuff. We got great pianos here. But at the same time, what's the superior instrument? You know, one keyboard or four, you know? You know, 88 keys or like notes or, you know. I mean, come on. And did you like my new background, by the way? It's a, we got a wonderful Cotner organ. It's got three manuals. It's got, um, it has a full battery of reeds too. It has like a 16, eight and four foot trumpet. Next beam. I play the organ. That's like the piano, right? Isn't it like the piano? How many of these memes are like piano hatred memes? Like that's, that's just like a little, a little harsh. I don't know. I mean, I used to be a bit of a piano hater, maybe. There, I, I, I definitely used to be more of like the whole like Piano is, is is below, organ organs up here. And to be fair, you know, if you go to the library here and you go through the, the music library of all the scores and stuff, the first instrument's organ, the second one's piano. Who's number one, right? Do you do you guys like my new you guys like my squeaky chair? There's a nice D and a B flat there, right? This thing likes a B flat. I have perfect pitch by the way. If you didn't know that I do have perfect pitch. Um, <clears throat> Sorry, back to the memes. Um, me asking the church for money to get a pipe organ. I am once again asking for your financial support. Yeah, they're... Um, they are expensive. Um, both to build and maintain. Support the organ world, we need it. And on a more, uh, like, I guess on a more serious note, uh, I think the organ's actually doing quite well. Uh, usually it is seen as this, like, very expensive, rare, why on earth do you need a pipe organ kind of thing? Um, but after last year, since it was like year of the organ, something like that, um, you know, and the AGO has been doing a great job at bringing up young organists. It's been like the year of the young organist too. And they're really bringing in stuff. The national convention in Seattle this summer is sort of centered around young organists to the point where I'm actually playing in that. So if, any, if anyone in America is going to the Seattle convention this summer, I will be playing in it. Uh, I'll be in the Rising Stars 1 concert. Um, so come out to Seattle, check it out, It'll be very exciting. But anyway, no, I think the organ is actually doing a great job lately. It's been getting a lot more attention. I think things are doing quite well. Um, so, you know, perhaps we don't need to be so desperate and asking for financial support anymore, but nonetheless, pipe organs are still expensive. But anyway, organists in the organ loft. I see no god up here other than me. <laughs> yeah, um, guilty. Uh, you know, I mean, not all churches have an organ loft, but usually the organ is in a sort of a way above the people place. Okay, I'm gonna admit it, organists can be a little instrument racist. Um, you know, we, 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 we tend to see ourselves as superior to others. I mean, we're not, we're not as expressive 
as like violinists, <clears throat> but um, there there is a sense like this sort of ominous sense of superiority as an organist. You don't always feel it, um, especially when you're in a practice room. But like if you're in a big cathedral and you're in the organ loft and you're playing the organ and you're like the one guy playing it, and then you look down, it's all those peasants down in the congregation that are following you. There is a sense of like, I am God, you know, not to be blasphemous or anything, but I, I can find that to be very true sometimes. Wow, that is a cool piano. Hmm, tastes like disrespect. Okay, this can go two ways. One, this could be another piano hatred meme like normal, or this could be your annoying friends um, telling you you play a big piano, like, my, my friends know it drives me crazy when I say, you know, I play the organ, they go, oh, that's like a big piano. They know what an organ is. They say it's a big piano to push my buttons anyway. So I would say this meme's more applicable to like your annoying music friends who decide to annoy you, you know? It, it, it's like, you know, going up to my friends who play the trombone and say, oh, you play the big trumpet, right? I mean, it's like, it's annoying, but it's funny. So I get it. When someone talks to you during the postlude, you know, you would think that's like something that doesn't really happen. It's like the organist is playing. Don't talk to him. Don't bother him. Don't just let the organist do his thing. But no, this has actually happened to me a few times. Like people will straight up just come up to me and start talking to me or like do something. I don't know. Something that would require my attention and I'm still playing. And it's like obvious I'm playing. I mean, and especially during the post loop too, it's like big and loud. You, shouldn't you get the hint that it's like, let me concentrate on the piece? So I don't know, some people just don't get it. And sometimes it is a face I give them, but sometimes I actually do straight up just respond as if nothing's happening. And uh, I think sometimes I think it's pretty funny, but yeah, that's, that, that does happen, unfortunately. Solutional principle. Tuba. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now these are these are the good memes, you know. I mean, okay. As like, maybe this is just me being me. I love shamads. I like tubas too, but I love shamads and I love bombards. I like my loud organ noises. I. What, I mean, what 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 can I say? You know. Uh, actually, to the point. I, I am known so much for loving shamads and bombards and stuff that like even Ken Cowan, like the, 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 the fame, like a lot of you probably know who Ken Cowan is, the concert uh, organist. Even he knows that I love shamads and tubas and bombards. Like I remember we were on some kind of, we were on like an online uh, organ camp. I, I, I was showing him my uh, hot brick setup since they were online lessons and I said, oh, well there's a tuba and a shamad and a bombard in my hot brick setup at my house. So my house organ has a 32 foot and a full battery of shamads, uh, 16, eight and four and an eight foot tuba and everything. And he, he thought that definitely matched my character. So yeah, even, you know, even people like Ken Cowan or Dr. Demers, the organ teacher here, um, also another internationally recognized organist. She, if, if any organist here isn't playing loud enough for like, with you know, fury or anything, she'll just be like, all right, embrace your inner Andy and play loud. So that's how bad it is. I, I am really the fast and furious of the organ. Um, that is also like my Instagram bio is, I am the fast and furious of the organ. Uh, <laughs> um, so, you know, I love memes like this. It's like, come on, love it. Organists, I fear no man, but that thing, it scares me. Yeah, that's little kid me. As a little kid, you know, like before I was actually able to take lessons, I would be, I was all over the organ, you know, when I was like, you know, six or seven years old before actually taking lessons. And I'd always get like these books, like children books and things like that about musical instruments and so on and so on. Um, and they'd always have a stupid picture like that, some like 1960s electric toaster organ that's not even that's not even like an actual organ that's like a rock organ or something they'd always have that you know it's not like show a picture of this this is an organ that 
that's a just a collection of capacitors and resistors and diodes and I don't even think there were diodes were a thing at the time. I don't know, I could be wrong. So yeah, that's little kid me because all the books I had as a kid had like that image in them, except for two. And those weren't kids books. They were like actually legit organ like technical books. I can't remember the name of one of them now, but um, it would basically just explain the entire organ, like the workings of it and everything. Uh, it's It taught me, even as a little kid, I was able to pick up like the mechanics. Okay, push the key down, puts up the sticker, puts down in the other lever, pulls a roller, opens the valves, there's also sliders, pitman chest. It taught me all these different things. And I mean, to me, maybe it's just my personality, I'm just more of a technical guy, but I really like knowing what's going on when I hit a key, like hit key, organ make noise, what happens between those two. I really like to know what's going on. Um, so I definitely like, you know, read, read books, they make you smart. So it's like the two adult books I had, I actually got smart from. Meanwhile, all the kid books tell you that's an organ. It's not. This, this is an organ. This isn't even a big organ. This is, you know, this is better though. Uh, anyway, next, uh, next meme. Me visiting any church. Where organ? If all organists right now know exactly what that feeling is right now. Because, um, you know, it's just a thing. It's, it's, you just smell it or you sense it. It's just like that sixth sense that all organists have. It's just like, I sense, I sense, I sense organ. Oh my gosh, this chair is really creepy. I don't know what it is. I mean, maybe it's just because you can't carry an organ with you, so you're always looking for an organ around. I, I think another thing that, maybe this is just me, but um, sometimes organists will walk in a big space. Like, it could be an airport, it could be whatever. It's not really a church or a concert hall, but it's just a big room, and you just imagine there's a pipe organ up there somewhere or in that wall or something and I don't know maybe that's just me but for any time I'm in a large space I'm like always imagining how I can put a pipe organ in there and the final meme of today Contra Bombard 32 foot it's a surprise tool that will help us later oh sorry let me <clears throat> let me let me get my best Mickey voice um, if you have sensitive ears uh, just mute your computer now <clears throat> it's a surprise tool that will help us later. I'm never doing that again. You know, I mean, I think some people would kind of expect the organ to make some noises, like the contra bombard. If you ever hear a real pipe organ, and then you know the bombard comes in, just like it's like dropping the bass, you know, and people are like, "Ooh," you know, it's it's a surprise tool. You know, it's like, oh, the people are liking the organ. Let me just drop the bass, just drop it, and everyone's like, "Whoa," you know. And then everything starts shaking, and then you feel like you're like lifting off the ground. So, surprise tool. Very good surprise tool. Alright, well, uh, that was the last meme of today. Uh, once again, shout out to Jake, uh, who uh, provided all the memes today. So definitely go follow him. I'll link his Instagram down below. Go do that stuff, because we kind of owe it to him. Um, and if you like the video, you know, make sure you hit the subscribe button and like button. Mm -mm. No, look, we should make this more organ, you know? Uh, you, you've heard the thing, you know, it's like hit the subscribe button, blah, blah. No, we should make this organ. We should do hit the like general, open the subscribe box, and pull out the Zimbelstern. Right, like the bell notification, we'll call that the Zimbelstern. I like that, I like that. Yeah, the, 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 the like general, the subscribe box, and the Zimbelstern icon. All right, so do that. Yeah, do do the, do those organ things, and um, I'll I'll see everyone uh, next time. See ya.